Get a free shirt when you come to learn about credit and its importance. No thanks, this is just another credit card scam. No it's not. I'm a financial advisor. Would you like to learn about credit? Sure. So, what is there to know about credit? Well, first thing is first. There are four types of credit. Hmm. Let me think. Um, charge accounts, credit cards, consumer loans, and installment credit. Exactly. But they all go more in depth than you might think. What do you mean? Is there more than one type of charge account? Yes. There are regular accounts, budget accounts, and revolving accounts. A regular charge account requires the buyer to make a full payment within a certain period, which is typically 25 to 30 days. A budget account is an agreement that requires a customer to make several payments, which are a fixed amount over several months. Finally, the most popular form of sales credit is the revolving account. You can charge purchases at any time, but only part of the debit must be paid each month. So based off of what you have told me thus far, if I were to go with the most popular forms of sales credit, I would sign up for the revolving account. Yes, exactly. But you should know that revolving accounts may result in overspending and finance charges can get very high. Oh, okay. So what are the other popular forms of the other three types of credit? Bank cards are the most popular type of credit cards. They can be used around the world. Some of the most well-known include Visa and MasterCard. Most businesses accept them, so you can use them just about anywhere. So what are my options if I don't want a credit card? Well, you can participate in installment loans, or you can choose to go with a path of consumer loans. So what is the best option for a college student such as myself? Well, installment credits are contracts issued by the seller that requires periodic payments at specified times. Finance charges are added onto the price of the item purchased. These credits are great for purchasing big ticket items such as a fridge or a TV. Consumer loans, specifically single payment loans, allow you to wait until the end of the loan period to repay the full amount borrowed and the finance charge. So in that case, I should go with a single payment loan since I don't have the money to be making all of these monthly payments. Great idea, but before you sign up for credit, you should know its advantages and disadvantages. I know one advantage of credit. I can earn rewards at the businesses that I use my credit at. You're right. Some of the other advantages of business that use credit are establishing favorable credit ratings, keep businesses separate from other personal expenses, minimizing record keeping and receipts, and keeping track of what employees are spending. It doesn't seem like anyone could go wrong using credit. I don't see the disadvantages. Every good has a little bad in it. For businesses using credit, they may suffer from theft of customer records or databases, overbuying or overuse of credit. Oh man, I guess there really is a little bit of bad in every good. So, back to me in this whole signing up for credit thing. Is it gonna cost money or is it free or what? There is a cost. Nothing is 100% free, although you probably wish it was. Generally, companies who provide credit establish a cost for using their money. That cost is called interest. There's simple interest, which is only paid once, and installment interest, which is added to each installment payment of the installment loan. Wow, that means I'm going to have to fork up a lot of money when I reach the maturity date. On that day, not only will I have to pay the loan, but I will also have to pay the cost of using the loan. Yes, you're correct. The company may also charge an annual percentage rate, also known as an APR, that you may have to pay, which covers the cost of service on a yearly basis, as well as other possible charges such as service fees. Wow, that is a lot of money, but I think it would be worth it in the end. When I'm looking to make a big payment, what are the things that are required of me other than to take an interest and to sign up to acquire credit? You must always keep in mind the three C's of credit which creditors use when deciding whether or not to grant someone credit. They are character, which is your honesty and willingness to pay debt when it's due, your capacity, which is your ability to pay debt when it's due, and your capital, which is the value of your possessions. I think I have all that and I would be qualified any day. Now, how exactly do I sign up? There are credit applications that you must fill out that provide the lender with information 
that they need to make a decision about whether or not they should give a loan to you. Here you go. All right, thanks for all your help. I will definitely refer back to all this information you have taught me when it comes time for me to sign up for credit. Hopefully I will not need it soon, but if I do, I now know how to obtain it and how to be smart with my decision for the type of credit. Oh, wait, you forgot your shirt. Oh, thank you. Bye.